Antoine Augustin Calmet, OSB, the 26th of February 1672 to the 25th of October 1757, a French Benedictine monk, was born at menil le horn then in the Duchy of Bar, part of the Holy Roman Empire, now the French Department of Meuse, located in the region of Lorraine. Calmet was a pious monk as well as a learned man, and one of the most distinguished members of the Congregation of Saint Venet. In recognition of these qualities he was elected prior of Lay Saint Christophe in 1715, abbot of Saint Leopold at Nancy in 1718, and of Senwons Abbey in 1729. He was twice entrusted with the office of abbot general of the congregation. Pope Benedict XIII wished to confer episcopal dignity upon him, but his humility could not be brought to accept the honor. Calmet was greatly admired by the philosopher Voltaire, who visited the abbey on several occasions. Calmet died at Senwons Abbey, in the Vosges, near Saint Dié, on 25 October 1757. Biography Augustin Calmet was born on 26 February 1672, in Menil-le-Horn, near Commercy in the Lorraine, to the modest family of Antoine Calmet. His father was a blacksmith. After entering the Benedictine Priory at Broye at the age of 15, he attended the University of pont a mousson and studied rhetoric under the Jesuit father Ignace de Lobrussel later the Confessor Queen of Spain. At the end of these studies, he joined the Benedictine Order of the Congregation of Saint Venet and Saint Heidelf. His novitiate was made to the St. Mansui Abbey Tool where he took monastic vows on 23 October 1689. He was then sent to study philosophy at St. Evra Abbey and theology at Munster Abbey. He was ordained into the priesthood on 1 March 1696 in Arlsheim near Basel, and said his first Mass in the Abbey of Munster on 24 April 1696. He was commissioned to explain the Holy Scriptures in the Abbey of Moyenmature and Munster Abbey 1704, and was appointed prior to lay St. Christophe 1714 he became abbot of St. Leopold Nancy 1718. He went through the various monasteries of his order, devouring libraries and writing many historical compilations. In 1728, Calmet was called as priest of Senwons saint pierre Abbey, the capital of Principality of Psalm. It is in the great Abbey Vosges that he worked and lived the last part of his life, maintaining a correspondence with many scientists, and remaining there until his death on 25 October 1757. Tributes There are squares which bear his name in Commercy and Senwons. There is also a Dom Calmet Street in downtown Nancy since 18,673 and a street of Metz in the Sablin district bears his name since 1934. His monument is erected in St. Peter's Abbey Senwons and includes a list of his works. <laughs> <laughs> Written works Bibliography The work of Dom Augustin Calmet are eclectic and prolific. His main works are Comments on the Bible Calmet was educated at the Benedictine Priory of Broy in the town of Commercy, and in 1688 joined the same order at the Abbey of St. Mansui at Toul, where he was admitted to profession on 23 October of the following year. After his ordination, 17 March 1696, he was appointed to teach philosophy and theology at the Abbey of Moyenmature. Here, with the help of his brethren, he began to gather the material for his commentary of the Bible, which he completed at Munster in Alsace where he was sent in 1704 as sub-prior and professor of biblical exegesis. The first volume appeared in Paris in 1707 with the title Commentaire littéral sur tous les livres de l'Ancien et du Nouveau Testaments a literal commentary on all the books of the Old and New Testaments, the last of the 23 quarto volumes, owing to various delays, was published only in 1716. To satisfy the demand for the work a second edition in 26 volumes quarto was issued 1714-1720, and a third, enlarged, edition in nine volumes folio 1724-1726. 
A Latin translation by J. D. Mansi was published at Lucca, 1730 to 1738, in nine folio volumes, with new editions at Augsburg, 1756, eight volumes folio, and Würzburg, 1789, 19 volumes quarto. Another Latin translation by F. Vicelli appeared at Venice and Frankfurt, 1730, six volumes folio. This shows how much the commentary was esteemed. But while it was received with high praise, even by Protestants, critics were not wanting, among whom may be mentioned the oratorian Richard Simon. It cannot be denied that in spite of its merits and great erudition it is in some respects open to criticism. Difficult passages are often passed over lightly, and too frequently different explanations of a text are set down without a hint to the reader as to which is the right or preferable one. The work inaugurated a new method of exegesis. Its author departed from the custom of giving allegorical mystical and tropological moral interpretations besides the literal. The most valuable part of the commentary were the introductory prefaces to the several books and 114 learned dissertations on special topics. These he published separately with 19 new ones in three volumes, under the title Dissertations qui puvent servir de prolegomenes à l'écriture saint Paris, 1720. The collection met with such success that two editions were printed at Amsterdam in 1722, the title being changed to Tracers d'Antiquites Sacres et Profanes. It was translated into English Oxford, 1726, Latin by Mansi, Luca, 1729, Dutch Rotterdam, 1728, German Bremen, 1738, 1744, and 1747 and Italian. Topic occultism In 1746 he wrote the first edition of his dissertation Sur les apparitions des anges, des démons et des esprits, et sur les revenants et vampires de Hongrie, de Bohème, de Moravie et de Silesie. It extensively studied apparitions of angels, demons and other spirits but also included dissertations on various topics of magic, sorcery, witchcraft and instances of vampires, revenants and individuals returning from the grave. This study analyzed accounts of these various topics located in the Bible, mythology, cultural legends and famous accounts of historically documented cases or claims. Although quite critical, Voltaire nevertheless consults the works of Calmet, frequently relied on his prodigious scholarship to develop his own writings, especially the Dictionnaire philosophique where it is mentioned, qua. Say dans notre ex v siècle qu'il y a eu des vampires. Say après la regna des Locke, des Shaftesbury, des Trenchard, des Collins, say sous la regna des D'Alembert, des Diderot, des Saint Lambert, des de Close con a cru aux vampires, et que la RP d'Augustin Calmet, Prieter, Benedictin de la Congregation de Saint Vans et de Saint Heidelf, Abbe de Senwans, Abbe de Saint Mille Livres de Rant, Voisine de deux autres abbés du Meme Revenu, a imprimé et réimprimé la histoire des vampires, avec l'approbation de la Sorbonne, Marcelli. What? It's in our 18th century and there are vampires. It was after the reign of Locke of Shaftesbury of John Trenchard of Collins, it was under the reign of D'Alembert of Diderot of Saint Lambert of Desclos that believed in vampires, and that the Rev. Priest Dom Augustin Calmet, priest of the Benedictine Congregation of Saint Vans and Saint Heidelf, abbot of Senwans Abbey 100,000 francs, neighbor two other abbeys of the same income, printed and reprinted the history of vampires, with the approval of the Sorbonne, signed Marcelli. Calmet was given much praise for his work and received many letters and dissertations regarding the subject which prompted him expand his work in two volumes and published it again in 1751 under a new title Traité sur les apparitions des esprits et sur les vampires aux les revenants de Hongrie, de Moravie, and C. I. E. Treatise on the apparitions of spirits and vampires or revenants of Hungary, Moravia, et al. It included further studies of his own as well as several letters and dissertations sent to Calmet as a response to the first publication, and ambiguously considered the possibility of the existence of vampires, although not stating it explicitly. Other works 
In the meanwhile he had prepared two other works closely connected with biblical exegesis, one Histoire de l'Anxion et du Nouveau Testament et des Juifs Paris, 1718, which went through several editions, and was translated into English London, 1740, German Augsburg, 1759 and Latin Ib, 1788, two Dictionnaire historique, critique, chronologique, géographique et littéral de la Bible Paris, 1720, two vols, folio, a supplement also folio was added in 1728. An improved and enlarged edition in four folio volumes was published in 1730, which has several times been reprinted, the last time in Minya, Encyclopédie Theologique, IIV. It, too, was translated into Latin and the principal European languages. The English translation by Dioily and John Coulson 1732, revised and with additions by Taylor 1795, went through many editions in a larger and compendious form. In his later years Calmet published some further biblical dissertations in the Bible Defense 1742. Among his other published works may be mentioned, 1 Histoire universelle sacrée et profane, Universal History, Sacred and Profane Depuis le commencement du monde jusqu'à nos jours Strasbourg, 1735, Quarto, in which he follows the ideas enunciated in Boswitz's Discours sur la histoire universelle, 2 Histoire ecclésiastique et civile de la Lorraine Ecclesiastical and Civil History of Lorraine Nancy, 1728, of great value for the history of that province, 3 Bibliothèque Lorraine Lorraine, a catalogue of the writers of Lorraine, Nancy, 1751, containing his autobiography, pp. 209 to 217. Four, Commentaire littéral historique et moral sur la règle de Saint Benoît, a literal, moral, and historical commentary on the rule of Saint Benedict, Paris, 1734. Calmet wrote a noted history of the Duchy of Lorraine, as well as a history of the Abbey of Senones, which was still in manuscript form at the time of his death. Topic. Dissertations in the Bible Defense Histoire universelle sacrée et profane, depuis le commencement du monde jusqu'à nos jours, Strasbourg, 1735, Quarto Histoire ecclésiastique et civile de la Lorraine Nancy, 1728, four volume, in full. Ecclesiastical and civil history of Lorraine, Nancy, 1728. Bibliothèque Lorraine, a catalogue of the writers of Lorraine, Nancy, 1751. Commentaire littéral historique et moral sur la règle de Saint Benoît, a literal, moral, and historical commentary on the rule of Saint Benedict, Paris, 1734. Topic: <inaudible> Bibliography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Commentaire littéral sur tous les livres de l'Anxion et du Nouveau Testaments. A literal commentary on all the books of the Old and New Testaments. Published 1716. Introductory prefaces published separately. Dissertations qui puvent servir de prolegomenes à l'écriture saint. Paris, 1720. Dictionarium, historicum, criticum, chronologicum, geographicum, biblicum, latinis literis traditum a J. Dom. Mansi the Latin translation of Calmet's 1720 dictionary translated by Giovanni Domenico Mansi. Histoire de l'Anxion et du Nouveau Testament et des Juifs Paris, 1718 <laughs> Notes <laughs>